c'est moi. Mm. Fantastic job! I just want to come briefly. I don't have my um, my gorilla pot or anything, but I wanted to talk briefly because the past few days I've been feeling like super down or drained and I don't know if it's because I've been so busy this week and last week I was like on vacation so I don't know if it's that. I didn't work yesterday for au pairing. I didn't work. They didn't need me and yesterday the dad's like hey can we meet tomorrow at one o'clock to discuss so I had like a very cryptic message from them that they want to talk and it's like what do they want to talk about? Are they gonna fire me? Like you know, it's one of those messages, like, if you're in a relationship and your partner's like, hey, we need to talk, it's usually a bad thing, so I've heard, so, um... One hour later... <sighs> I went upstairs to talk to my host, Dad. So, as I was saying before, when people are like, oh, we need to talk, it usually means that they're breaking up with you. And in my case, that's exactly what I meant. I just got fired. 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 <laughs> I just got fired, <laughs> fired y'all. Legitimately. I I just got fired from my au pair job. And, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to try to process it because I know realistically it's it's not really your fault. It's like, you know, why do breaks, breakups happen? Breakups usually happen because people aren't just in different places. It's not that one person was better or worse or bad necessarily in most cases. It's just that people want different things and what sucks is when those people don't communicate those things before breaking up, they just kind of cut it off, I guess. I don't know why I'm using relationship anatomies. I've never been in a relationship, but I assume this is what the feeling equates to. So uh, here's, my, here's my termination letter. Apparently they've been sitting on this for a while. Apparently they wanted to let me go before Christmas break, but um, they decided that they would do it now. <sighs> I don't know their real reason. The, the reason that they told me was that I was too passive and not grateful um i i can't try to figure this out because you know as you go through it you expect a family who's already had au pairs to know how to communicate what they want from their au pairs what they need and communicate throughout the process instead of at the end and just cut you off so even when i had problems i would always bring it up to them it's just the things that he told me the problems that he was saying to me was very i just didn't understand but i guess in breakups you're like oh this is i don't understand what's happening you know so uh, what's my next move i have no idea what my next move is guys I have no idea. I can only trust that it's going to work out in my best interest. And it's crazy because I've, I've, oh, it's crazy because I have been the one since I arrived the past few months who's been giving other au pairs advice, hoping that people find rematches and be like, hey, families are kind of crazy, you know, this and that and this and that. And, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, they just end it. And you never really know. I've heard stories of au pairs just getting fired out of the blue. And now this is happening to me. I 
can't even believe it, y'all. It feels like I'm, I'm sleeping right now. It feels like this is not real, but it is real. So I have to make moves and figure out my options and make phone calls and see what I can do. I don't know what I can do, y'all. Luckily, I have my Navigo Pass. They said that they'll give me an extra $200 for the month. It's not like I can get a place. I have a bank account, but I don't have money. I don't have a job. I want an au pair visa. So companies aren't gonna wanna hire, companies can't hire me. Can't get a place if I don't have money. They said they won't write me a recommendation. He was like, oh, you're a nice person, but we're not gonna write you a recommendation. So I, I guess they just wanted someone who was like, <sighs> I'm the second au pair that they had to let go because they were too nice. Too nice? Me, girl? If anybody knows me, they know that I'm super stubborn and stern and tonight, me, girl, me, me, too nice? That's crazy. I have never, oh, wow. Oh, man, yeah. Guys, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know if I should take this day to just grieve or take this day to find my next move. Why waste time? They say I have two weeks, and it sucks because I love this place so much. But honestly, to be honest, I always love the place more than I loved the family. And I always liked the, the parents more than I liked the little girl. So I guess, I guess it's fitting, you know? I guess this was not meant for me right now, but what sucks is now I'm at the risk of leaving Paris because I... I don't have the visa, the proper visa to be able to do anything else. It's not like I can just get a job because I don't have a visa for that kind of. Wow, guys, this sucks balls. This such sucks major dick balls, vaginas. This sucks all the genitals that you can think of. This sucks that bad. And as bad as I just want to call my mom and cry and my brother <laughs> I can't because they've just been so proud of me <laughs> they've just been so proud that I'm in Paris and I was living my best life <laughs> I can't tell them that I just got fired and I don't know what to do <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop this video because right now I'm just hysterical. Ay, ay, man. Wow. Wow, man. Wow, okay. Well, I never want to be an au pair again. I, 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 I can't. I can't keep risking my security on a family because when you're let go, you lose your whole place. So I can't, I can't do this to myself again. I can't, and I can't keep being on a family schedule. I told myself before I came for this one, I was like, okay, I can't do this again, but we're gonna try one more time, one more time. And I told myself that and I tried, I really did try. But this is this is not the route for me, and it sucks because I am interning with A Pop now, and I'm not even in an au pair right now. I don't want to be an au pair again. I don't want to keep going through this. I can't base my life's security for a few months on a family that can just let me go. I can't do that to myself anymore. 
just when I was finally getting to a good place and finally starting to feel good about life and where it would go and where it's going, I let go. So, so glad I've been taking advantage of having this free time to build my own life. I'm so grateful that I was independent this whole time, that I was not like depending on them for anything. I'm so grateful because this would hurt so much more if we had like a strong bond. And it sucks because I like the grandma. And it sucks because now I don't see any of the other family members. Like they all knew that apparently. <sighs> Wow, it just, it sucks to have been in someone's face for the past week and then knowing that they want to do that. I don't think I can do that to someone. Well, I guess I have, because when I want to quit, you know, you be at you, whatever. Wow, okay. I'm going to stop rambling. This is going to suck to edit this part. Wow. What are the chances I would be vlogging this week? And I, oh, okay, bye guys, bye guys, oh, oh, come back when I have something. This one is stuffed with peas.